Hey guys, it's Amanda Panda. Welcome to the Maui Custom Pony video. I made Moana a couple of weeks ago and it was highly requested that I make Maui. It is going to be a huge, huge challenge because he is so detailed. So let's get started. To make Maui, I'm going to be using Shining Armor. I'm starting off by removing his cutie mark with some acetone. And then I'm going to remove his head. Now this part is not necessary, it is completely optional, but it is my personal preference. I think it's easier to customize the pieces when they're separate and I can hold them a bit better and get all of the really fine detail in. And oh my gosh, that head did not want to come out. That was so hard, but it finally did. Now this particular pony figurine does not have rooted hair what it has is a strip of very fluffy frizzy hair exactly like a troll's hair and all you gotta do is pull it right off now there's a lot of little pieces left in that little hair area so I'm just gonna take some acetone and just cover the area with a little bit of it to loosen up the glue and I'm just going to scrape off as much of that excess as I can the entire head's going to be painted, including this little stripe of hair. So if you can't get it all off, it's really not a big deal. And I'm sorry, Shining Armor, but we are going to have to remove your unicorn horn. And I am taking my X-Acto knife and I'm very carefully going to slice his horn off. I know it hurts me to do this, but it has to be done. Maui does not have anything on his head, so it does need to come off. Now, if you wanted to make your Maui a unicorn pony, well then go right on ahead and keep the horn on. What I'm doing now is I'm just filing the area where the horn was to soften up all of those lines that I made with my exacto knife and the forehead is all smoothed out it looks a lot more natural the head is completely ready to be customized it's time to work on the body I need to remove shining armors tail now this pony does not have a regular tail where I can just pull it out by removing the neck plug it's like literally glued into the body so I've just cut it off and this looks like it came off of Branch's head from the Trolls movie and I'm going to grab my small scissors and I'm gonna cut off all of that blue fuzz I'm even going to get my scissors inside of the hole until it's all removed and it looks just like that now it's time to start customizing I'm starting off by giving Maui his gorgeous tanned skin tone and to do that I am using Sally Hansen in neutral which is a really pretty sun-kissed beige color it's the same one that I used on Moana and I'm gonna use this to completely cover the body and the head and I love 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 this nail polish because it, it, it seriously it gives you one coat coverage there might be a few areas where you got to go in and touch up but for the most part with one coat you are good and I have a lot of people ask me are you sponsored by Sally Hansen um, and I'm not I just honestly I just really like their nail polishes for personal use and for using on my pony so in case anybody was wondering and for the head I am NOT going to cover the eyes so I am just outlining them with polish and then I will fill in the rest of the head I like to save the eyes because when I go in to customize them, the placement and general shape is already there for me and that's something that I find really hard to do freehanding. That nail polish dried super fast and it is time to start working on the eyes. I'm going to start off with the eyebrow and I'm going to make it longer than the original eyebrow that Shining Armor had. I want to give Maui the signature raised eyebrow that Dwayne Johnson does. So one eyebrow is raised and the other one is basically just flat across the top. So this is the flat one and the other one will be raised. I'm taking some white acrylic paint and I am just expanding the eye and making it a little bit bigger because Shining Armor's eyes were kind of small. I'm going in with some black for the pupils. And 
and then outlining the pupil with brown to give him some beautiful brown eyes and I am going to make that iris two shades of brown to give it some depth and a little bit of an ombre effect. Going in with my dotting tool to give him two light reflections and the eyes are all done. I think that this facial expression is just so awesome. I love the way it came out. I am going to now seal all of my work in using a clear top coat and I'm going to let that top coat completely dry and once it has, it is time for Maui to get his hair. Now, if you notice, this particular pony does not have hair holes because remember, this was not a rooted pony. If I wanted to, I could take a needle and my rerouting tool and I could just poke holes into the head but I don't want to do that because this plastic is very hard and I'm kind of scared that it would hurt my hand or break a needle. I was trying to figure out how to give Maui hair and I took a look at the actual package of the hair and this is a really tight curl from Craft Designer. I bought this on Amazon. It's the same hair I used for Moana. And on the back, it says that the doll hair can be attached to any surface using a hot glue gun. So that's what I'm going to try today. I'm taking these strands of hair, folding them in half, and then gluing them right at that center point directly to the head. I'm starting from the bottom of the head and going up, putting one little dot of glue, giving it a few seconds to cool down, and then using my finger to press the hair into the glue. And you wanna be really careful when you're doing this to make sure you don't burn yourself. Repeat this process over and over again until all the hair is in. And once you've finished putting in the hair, it's time to start working on the body, the hardest part. Now, there is so much detail on Maui. I am not going to freehand it all because it would just take me way too long. So I'm using a combination of nail stamps and nail decals. My nail stamps were a bundle called Polynesia and my nail decals are just some tribal ones I found online. I'll put links for both down in the description box below. My pony is going to have tattoos inspired by Maui. So I'm picking the stamps and decals that loosely resemble what Maui has. I'm I'm actually stamping on a miracle mat and then transferring the nail stamps to the pony because that's going to make it a lot easier to place all of these nail stamps. So I started off by putting a face in the center of the chest. Now I'm going in with a nail decal and for these you dip them in water for about 10 to 15 seconds and the decal will start to separate from the paper backing. I'm going to very carefully pat dry this decal and apply it around the neck using some clear nail polish. So I'm just putting a little bit on and that's what's going to make all of these nail stamps and nail decals stick to the pony itself. I'm going to give Maui lots of details around, around the front legs and then just one detail around the back legs. And I'm just picking a variety of different designs from my decals and my stamps. And if you're wondering what I mean by a stamping mat, I'll put a link for it down in the description below and see if I can find a video of another YouTuber kind of describing it better and the process and how that's done. I was gonna show it on camera, but then this video would have been really, really long, so I decided to leave it out. I am taking a bunch of different nail stamps and I am cutting them into the shape of a circle and placing them on the big parts of Maui, like his sides and his back. I thought that that was the best and easiest way to give Maui lots and lots of details. And now I'm going in to give Maui the three little stripes he has on the side of the big tattoo on his chest. And here's the pony completely done. I have outlined the circular decals and freehanded some detailing all around the circles. And I think it looks really, really cool. Very similar, inspired by Maui. Now I'm going to seal in my work with a really, really thick coat of clear nail polish to make sure that nothing comes loose, nothing falls off. 
and here it is completely covered it looks so so neat it's time to start working on Maui's skirt I went to the dollar store and I found this little sprig of fern for one dollar I like it it has different shades of green and this is what I'm gonna be using to make Maui's skirt I have one piece of the lighter green color and I'm going to pull the leaf off of its backing off of the little spine there and this looks really freaky it almost looks like green fish bones or something and then I'm going to cut the leaves into a little sections of you know two to three maybe even four leaves and then cut those sections right down the middle now I'm going to take my hot glue gun and glue the leaves directly to the body and I'm mixing up the light green and the dark green to make sure that the skirt looks really cool with all those different shades. So I'm putting on the first layer here and then I'm going to go underneath that layer and put a second layer. The third and final layer is going to have some cord. I have here a little bit of hemp and I'm going to take this lightest color and I'm going to directly glue the leaves onto the little piece of string here. So I'm going to wrap the leaves around the string so it looks a little more natural. This is how Maui had his in the movie. So here it is all completed. And I'm not going to glue this on the body, I'm just going to tie it. So I'm going to wrap it around his waist, grab those little strings and tie it firmly onto the body, no glue required. And his grass skirt looks so, so neat, I love it. If you want to, you can give Maui a tail. Now, I didn't give Moana a tail and you said I should have, so I'm going to give Maui one. I have a bunch of hair here and a twist tie. I'm going to very, very firmly twist tie it together and then trim that twist tie. And I'm going to attach it to the pony using some Gorilla Glue. I was gonna use hot glue, but I thought that the hot glue would come loose so I thought, well, I'll just use Gorilla Glue instead. So I'm going to use a Q-tip to put glue into the hole and then press the tail in. Let's take a look at the completed custom. Here is Maui the Demigod from Disney's Moana. He has been ponified and he looks so, so awesome his curly hair is just so cool it looks a lot like his now i personally do not like the tail on this pony so here he is without the tail let me know which one's your favorite with or without i personally like maui without the tail i think he looks a lot neater without it but either way he looks really really awesome all of those tattoos look so so cool against his really pretty tan skin i love it his necklace was stolen off of my maui figurine that i opened up in a past video i just popped it off and glued it onto the pony and he looks so so neat i hope that you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you use it to make your own maui i hope that he comes out really really awesome thank you so much for watching little pandas until next time bye And here's Moana and Maui hanging out together. You can really see the size difference here. Maui is a lot bigger than Moana. And if you want to see the Moana tutorial, make sure you check that out. It is on my channel and I'll link it down below. You can follow me online. To get the latest news and updates, like my Facebook page, facebook.com backslash Collector, or follow me on Instagram at Collector. Wanna mail me something? Guess what? You can. Mail it to Mandapanda P.O. Box 
1-800-285-2855, Humble, Texas 77347.